fucking man, look at Oh, God. What is it? Oh. I don't know what that was. It looked kind of like a gar. <laughs> Pretty neat. <clears throat> See, anyways, I guess I might as well explain what we're doing. Been an interesting morning. I got up to go turkey hunting, went to some state land, and there was literally a person around every turn, just, just unreal. I wasn't gonna sit there and fight through the crowds. So I decided to rush back home, load up the boat, and I'm getting down here a little later than I normally would like to, but hey, at least I'm fishing. I am fishing on the Suwannee River one of the larger rivers in the state of Florida where it ranks I do not know I've yet to fish it this year because it's been flooded we had so much rain in the fall this, this river's been flooded for months which is very unusual it's still a little high and swift as you can see with the troll motor running but uh, it's finally low enough that I feel like trying it we'll uh, we'll see what happens yet again another very unusual spring we had a super wet fall, a warm winter, and now here it is spring and back to back to back cold fronts. Just had one blow through two days ago. It's pretty chilly this morning, kind of windy. I just can't figure this weather out this year. It doesn't know what it wants to do. But we're gonna throw a few baits, see what happens. I haven't tied on a whopper plopper in a while. These things have been all the rage the last few years. Typically I can't fish them in the lakes that uh, you see me fish just because of all the grass, hydrilla, I just can't fish much with treble hooks, but this river's more open other than just limbs hanging everywhere, so should better throw this. We'll give it a shot, see what happens. I got a few other things tied on as well. Oh, look at there. Oh my lord, oh my lord. This is a Swanee bass and probably one of the biggest ones I have ever caught. They don't get very big. State record's only like a couple pounds. This obviously isn't a state record, but this is a really big Swanee bass. And pretty unusual because they typically do not hit top order, at least not in my experience. Wow. Of course I am with treble hooks. There we go. And don't have my uh, pliers with me. Wow, that is a really nice swanny bass. I'll be danged another swanee bass just as soon as I get saying I don't ever catch him on top water got another one well they love whopper poppers apparently See little guy go get bigger. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. I pulled it out of his mouth straight out the water. Dang it, dang it, dang it. 
Well, I'm not having much luck on the whopper plopper. They were biting it when I first got here, so I'm gonna throw this chatter bait a little. And I'm sure people are looking and going, whoa, 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 you can't throw that thing. It doesn't have a trailer on it. I don't know why people think that. You can absolutely throw these without a trailer. And the majority of bass in this river are small, so I don't really want to bulk it up anyways. We do have big bass here, but I'm looking for bites today, not no monsters. I got here. All right. Little swanny bass. See those gar. This is one of the many springs up and down this river. First large mouth of the day. He's a monster. Well, sorry that wasn't a great success, and I sure didn't narrate much today. And the reason being, been kind of sick under the weather, still not feeling great. Decided to get out and do a little fishing because I got to go back to work tomorrow, anyways. Just had a cold front come through two days ago. It's windy today, freezing cold. I see that the uh, waters are a lot cooler than I was expecting. So these fish have just shut down. Surprisingly, uh, a little swanee bass today, which is kind of like a smallmouth, they didn't they didn't seem to mind at all. They did pretty well, but uh, only one largemouth, a tiny little guy, it wasn't a successful day at all. But I wasn't expecting a whole lot. Like I said, uh, I had started this morning out with a plan to go hunting. That just didn't work out. Way too many people in the woods for a Thursday. I just don't understand that one. But uh, I'll try to do a little better, make some more in-depth videos. Hopefully the weather starts warming up and changing here. I mean, it's it's spring. We shouldn't be having back-to-back -back cold fronts like we're having. But uh, we've got to be near the end of it, and then the fishing should start heating up. So uh, I'll try to have a video out every Tuesday. Like, share, subscribe. Hopefully I'll have you something a little better out next week. Thanks.